CDL annual report 2018. CDL have their annual report ready by every end of the year. So 2019 one will be ready by somewhere in March of 2020. So uh, for now, I only have 2018 one. So I read through it and pick up some highlights to share with you guys. Next cover page design, growth, enhancement, transformation. So it's a GET, so called get ready. It's a very clear message that uh, share with all his staff and his stakeholders. Uh, for projects, uh, currently uh, they did seven launch and seven completion and the land bank uh, 4.1 mil square feet which can build 4,100 units. They launch 2,400 units and sold 1,000 plus units so the rate is around 40% uh, Globally, they have 18.2 mil square feet to of total letable the office area Singapore office, they reach 91.4 committed occupancy so it's not bad Organizational restructure in progress so this one can help to cut down the cost and to save Uh, revenue increased by 10.3%, uh, which is a very good figure. All signs are showing that the CDL are doing very good. For example, the total assets and the net value per share is all going up 11.707, which can support their the stock price. <coughs> uh, next one, five-year financial highlights. Profit below be, before tax is not increasing much. Even the revenue uh, goes up means there's a lot of expense. For big organization to cut down costs, cut down expense is always one key challenge. That's why even the revenue grew up a lot, but the profit not very well set. As an organization, we are committed to uphold the high standards of corporate governance to enhance shareholders' value. We believe practicing good corporate governance is central to the healthy and stability to our finance, financial markets and the economy. So that's why it's linked to just now what I say. Uh, for big organization, it's very important. Next one is the board uh, composition, diversity and the balance. So there is a lot independent non-executive directors which meaning that they are so confident that they let so many non so many the uh, independent directors to be involved they accept they can face the challenges annual income uh, of course this one uh, we can see the Kwe family Kwe Ling Bing and the Sherman Kwe uh, who own the shares and they are gain uh, most well for other non-executive director uh, average they are holding they are getting a uh, 170 K per per annual it's not that high uh, compared with a big flyer uh, share ownership uh, CDL share half owned by Hong Leung which means still the quiet family CDL currently priced at the 10.553 uh, total value share is 5 9.85 bill that is around one third of Singapore every year the construction jobs throughout. So meaning the CDL is a quite big major player. For revenue and the profit before tax, property development contribute to the most of the profit. Well, hotel operations revenue a lot, but profit so little. Retail is another highlight, doing very well. So we can see that the hotel is so-called losing money but property and retail property is earning money for the projects launched in 2018 uh, high end there is a new food futura and the source beach medium tier will be dambis tree the jewel and the whistle grand location is the king so our uh, location is good you can sell good
Uh, next one is Project Launch 2019. Bolava 88 is the high end at Orchard. Unit is less than 154, so I believe the unit is quite big. Amber Park is selling very well. Shenkang Central will be playing at 2020-2021. Overall, all the projects are located well and designed well. Major properties. Uh, Republic Plaza is the biggest commercial property uh, belong to GDL. Uh, Fuji Zizox Tower is the next biggest commercial towers. So these two buildings make up a lot of the letable uh, office space. Financial position. Total assist have increased at both company and group level. Means that they are keep on accumulating the wealth, keep on accumulating the, the cash, the reserve, which means they are doing very good. Next one is the statement of the profit or loss. In 2018, revenue getting better, profit also result 13.6 is a very shining result, like a star. So profit as a group is result 13.6, very good. Earning per share, uh, even after dilute, dilute still have a 6.3, okay, like it's better than the CPF even though. Uh, cash flow. Uh, cash, uh, the reduce 1.4B must be very careful uh, because the cash is the king. Reserves. So uh, reserves increase by at uh, both group and the company level. Group have 8 billion reserve in 2018. That's a lot of money. Company have 4.7 billion reserve in 2018, which is more than half of what the group having. So means the company make up the majority. Revenue. Revenue increased 10% from 2017 to 2018, reached 4.2 billion at the year of the 2018. So uh, revenue, they are, they are doing very well at the group level so which is around 10 percent increasement ordinary shareholding those holding more than 10, 1 million shares make up 93.5 of total ordinary shares which means major organizations are confident with cdl and holding their shares so if you see the the share is always holding by very small unit so meaning that the big organization not so confident top 20 ordinary shareholders so we can see Citibank, dbs hsbc uob ocbc all the major banks they they issue the trust they are buying the cdl the shares so which meaning cdl is one of the best in property development Next one uh, is 8 year share price index with dividends the price majority at below the benchmark at uh, 2009, 2009 that, uh, that ink the well set don't buy construction sector stocks. So you see uh, 100 is the benchmark so always the, the price index is below. So 8 year share price index again. Lowest at 2016 Q1, highest at 2018 Q1. So a projection that the new low will be at 2020 Q1, new high will be at 2022 Q1. So that's a range that we can use to buy. Meaning buy 2020, sell 2021. Next one is a profit uh, for the year 2018. Uh, the figure is quite consistent and increasing from 2017 and 2018 which means that there is no major financial problem with the company and the company still upholding the progress well.
tax expense. Uh, tax they pay a lot tax in 2018, which is 214 mil, increase 100 percent compared with 2017. Profit before tax for 2018 is 875 mil, increase 15 compared with 2017. Which means there possible some tax never declare in 2017, but in 2018 have to declare. Earning per share, profit in 2018 is 554 mil, which increased by 6.8. Then the share, the the share balance, balance basic earning also earned by 2.6.9. Not bad, lah. The one compared with the CPF and the, the stocks is better. Uh, number of share. As of today, CDL share press at uh, 10 point uh, 33, 37. Totally, they have 908 mil share equal to 9.4 billion in the stock market. Okay, so meaning that that that, that that's a value of the company when for the part of the issue of stocks. Dividends. Uh, dividends in 2018 is slightly less than 2017, but still quite consistent. Uh, we because we cannot always expecting the company to going up, but sometimes up and down will be there. So that's all the highlights that have been picked up from the CDL annual report 2018. So after the issue 2019 annual report, I will learn and share with you guys again. Thank you.